everybody in this video I'm going to show you how to add decorations to your gingerbread man and as you can see I've already turned off the color since it fills the entire thing and also something else we're going to do is bring back our reference and so uh, let's get started with the eyes it'll be a good idea to organize our stuff And so we'll use a, uh, obviously an ellipse for this one. It'll be x squared. Actually, we should make room to move it equals. And this is looking about one and a half. And all right, let's make this a little, bring this out a little bit. Move this up about three and a half. Let's make this smaller. I'll bring this up a little bit more. I'm fine with that, and we want this filled, so we'll add an inequality there, duplicate it. Instead of moving this to the right, we'll move this to the left, and there we have two eyes. Maybe you want to scooch this over just a little bit. All right. Let's continue on to the mouth. This looks close enough to a half circle. It maybe chop off the top by a little bit. So it'll be my square root. Let's go one minus x squared. And let's add three and we'll continue to adjust. And so we'll make this number smaller until, until we're happy with this. Actually, 0.5 looks good enough. And move this up by 0.1 or 2, and and let's we'll say y is less than or equal to because we we it want to limit the top here. All right. Next thing we're going to do is the bow tie, and this one to look this one up is y squared is x to the fourth minus x to the sixth and we're going to move this up till, until we're just below the two let's do y minus 1.8 and we're going to squishes in by a little bit and just for time's sake I'm just gonna leave it here and then continue on with the rest just gonna put an inequality on this we'll make this red all right I'm gonna do the buttons so that would be so that's just three um, three circles. We have x squared minus. We'll keep the y in parentheses so we can move it down. And let's do one. All right, let's adjust this until it's approximately the size that we like and then we'll move it up now let's duplicate this three times or two times rather and one of them will be slightly below zero and the yellow one would be almost minus two 
let's let's keep this evenly spaced. And so if we're going oh yeah, one down, another three, so that's one point three. So we're gonna add. So this this should be one point six. For the um, for the bands on the arms, that's gonna be be the last ones that we're gonna do. Let's just do one equation per um, uh, per line here, and so we're just gonna draw a parabola or hyperbola that goes through both of these lines, and then we'll just define an inequality. All right, for the hyperbola, we're just gonna do y is square root of one plus x squared, and then we're going to Adjust it until it's approximately, or, or we or we think it looks good. Let's squeeze this in a little bit. I think our goal is to make the lines approximate the same slope as these two. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and then let's bring this down by just a little bit more. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to use the same one. I'm going to duplicate this. So this is from 2.5. Unless I got the wrong inequality. To 3.234. And we'll do the same thing with the negative side. Four less than x, 2.135. That should be negative. And for the other one, we're just going to simply move it down by just a little bit more. And we're just going to pick on 2.636. And this is 3.646. They would do the same thing for the negative side. All right, and those are the bands for the arms. Alright, let's finish the legs. It's gonna be the same process and so let's go delete the inequality and move it down. Actually before we do that, let's make this hyperbola maybe not so extreme. I'm gonna make it a little wider. So I am happy with this. So we're gonna take 0.516 is less than or equal to x, and this ends at 2.859. And we do it. Similar inequality for the negative side. All right, let's duplicate this. As you see, it should be the same hyperbola, but with a, but with a different set of inequalities. So this will be moved down. By about that much, six and a half. One point zero three five less than or equal to x, and this ends at. One well, yeah, Don't use that number. Three point one two seven. There is a mistake up there. That should be negative. And 
negative 3.127 less than or equal to x is less than or equal to minus 1.035. Let's hide our reference and see how it looks. So this is where I'm going to wrap things up. Trying to color this whole thing is going to take way too long. Um, I do hope you enjoyed the process. Uh, and um, if, you, if you did, do, do leave a like on the video. If you want to see more videos, do leave a subscribe. And, um, and if I don't hear from you for the rest of the year, Enjoy your enjoy the rest of your holidays and we will continue graphing next year.